Let's talk about how important you think this Virgin Galactic flight will be today. It's a, it's a big milestone for Virgin Galactic. It's a big milestone for the commercial space tourism industry. It's the first commercial crew that will go up into space on this uh, particular machine. And uh, SpaceX has already done it, but this will be the first time for Virgin. So it's a, it's a big deal. All right. In your mind, as you watch this, what exactly, I'm not just investors, but, but maybe just aficionados, people who want to kind of dream a little bigger about what space travel could look like. What, what should they be keying on today when they watch this flight happen? I, I would say I would key on just how routine this is probably going to become. Right now, it's not very routine at all. But, you know, what, what I think Virgin Galactic brings to the table it, with their uh, their airplane-based system, they don't, uh, you know, go into orbit. They go up into space and come back within a matter of hours. And uh, this this is set to become a bit of a routine uh, the way they've they've set up the operations here. So I think that's the big promise of Virgin Galactic. Uh, whereas the others like SpaceX and that it's a, a bit more expensive. It's uh, quite a bit more expensive. It goes to the space station. Uh, you stay in orbit. It, the risks are are di quite different. So uh, this is a this is a, a more touchable by the average person, even though it's still fairly expensive by average person standards. Jim, I, I'm, I'm glad you brought up the risks and safety aspect of this conversation. Uh, space travel is something that, that, yes, beyond just the monetary value of it, seems like there is a certain component of risk to it. We are coming off a couple of weeks when we just watched a submersible trying to go see the Titanic have a catastrophic mm -hmm. end. What exactly is then going to have to be the story that's told by many of these companies with regard to the safety element of travel above into space or, of course, even now below, as we've learned, into the deep sea ocean? Yeah, both, you know, diving that deep into the ocean and going into space was once the, the sole domain of nation states and uh, companies like SpaceX and Virgin Orbit, among others, have uh, started to make this available to the average person. SpaceX was the first private company to ever get a, a rocket into space that wasn't government funded. And uh, so so the deep space uh, uh, submarine that, or sorry, the, the submarine that went uh, afoul last week uh, was, was really a tragedy. And there, there's a big difference between these two things in, in terms of the regulatory agency on it. You know, both are very risky. Uh, people have lost their lives doing both before. And uh, the difference really in my mind is is one of uh, who watches out. And while I'm not a big fan of government regulation, I think the FAA has done a great job of regulating space flight. And they, they have their regulatory nose in the tent because the, any U.S. vehicle that flies into space, the passenger safety and or the ground safety of people uh, that fly below, that are below the flight, uh, are regulated by the FAA, and they do a, they do a very fair job, just like every airplane we all sit on. Out on international waters, there there is no regulatory body, and uh, people can do as they please. And I think we see the consequences of this. I, I my opinion is the Titan episode was very sloppy engineering. It was very sloppy uh, uh, validation of that engineering. They shouldn't have made it the way they made it with composites. It's it's the wrong use of carbon fiber composites uh, for for that kind of uh, application, and people died. And uh, you know those of us who are engineers that understand this uh, are really pretty critical of what they've done. I don't think you'll see that same sort of thing in space uh, because of the regulatory side of it. The FAA does a very thorough job of looking through it, just like they do our airplanes. So I'm, I'm a little more optimistic about the space side, you know, although people will die and it's, it's an inherently risky activity.